Good evening and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, November 22, 2023. 35 degrees at 6.45 p.m. And I am your host, Fa Kamal, and I'm a sinner. Oh, boy, what a day. I am powerless. Life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today. It's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how did we live today? And I hopefully you lived from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Probably was about 55 or 60% to the good on that one today. <laughs> I'm here with Brother Pussy Co-Star Mackie, my Max. I love you, Max. Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan is outside. Brother Prince and Co-Star Michael is upstairs, as is Sister Princess and Co-Star Elsie. We've had a very busy day, a very productive day. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into that. Um, this morning, after coffee and wake-up time, and I think we've been up since 6 o'clock, maybe even earlier than that. I can't remember right offhand. But yeah, everybody went out this morning. All four of my loves went out. Else, Max, Mike, and Sully. And I had coffee out here, and we said our prayers, read our readings, etc. And then after we got some ambition, balanced our ambition and our caffeine levels, we did our stretching and yoga. I don't think that I did any weights today. And we baked bread, washed some dishes, and clean the walls on the stairway up to the bedroom and in the bedroom. After that, we took apart one of our, my revolver, we took apart my SP, and was going to do a polishing job on the trigger works. I watched a video on how to do that, and had to go find some things and couldn't find some. I was going to order them online and then just do it next week when they came in, but I thought, what the hell, we'll see what we can find local, and I looked on the... I did some Google searching, and supposedly most of the things I needed were right in town here, but that proved to be a lie. <laughs> and I was running from store to store. Where did we go, Max? Where did we start out? We started out at Harbor Freight, then to Home Depot, then to the Evil Empire, Walmart as I call it. Came home. Did we come home after that? At one of them stores, whether it was Home Depot or Walmart, I ran into somebody I went to school with and haven't seen since about 2014. Neil Kotwicki, and we chatted briefly, and he's retired now also, and he's bored out of his mind. And he, he wasn't aware of Pat Denstead's passing, so I let him know about that. And Renee Birmingham, I was full of good news. Came home. Uh, what did we do after that, Max? Oh, we had the bread dough rising. We threw that in the oven and baked it. And took a loaf to Keith after that. And went back out for more parts and pieces to work on the firearm with. I had it totally taken apart. I took it apart farther apart than I've ever taken it. In fact, I don't think you could take it apart. Yeah, I guess you could. You could do the cylinder and the crane, and I didn't do that. Didn't need to. But I did the whole tr trigger group, and I couldn't find the flitz polish, metal polish I was looking for, so I ended up trying Brasso, and it didn't work that good. It didn't work like the stuff on the video did used like a Dremel type tool and applied that on and oh here comes Bobby Sullivan I don't know did some oiling and greasing and whatnot or no we got the thing apart let me back up got the thing apart and decided we need to go out and get that that'll push and we started out at where we took the bread to Keith, then we went to Tractor Supply, they didn't have anything, so then I went to Fitzpatrick Hardware and found something I needed there, some 
I was looking for 1,000 grit sandpaper, but they didn't have any by the sheet. I got one sheet of 1,500 grit. Just sanded one and a half times as hard as normal, or however many times as normal. That's not very uh, abrasive paper, but just to knock down some burrs and things like that. And I had taken that, that pistol, or that revolver apart. I'm all over the place, I know it, but what's new? And start turn the video on, started watching it again, and just started doing the same thing the guy on the video video was doing as far as disassembly and polishing parts and pieces and put the thing back together and everything I didn't end up with any extra parts and uh, everything seems to be functioning. We'll know more when I go shooting again. But uh, yeah, that was quite an adventure, and I'm going to do that with. Uh, my security nine now. Take out the old Dremel tool and the chrome polish or whatever it is and roughed out, smooth out some spots in there, the feed ramp and things like that. So anyway, cook, oh, we went to Marine Market too. I got a smoked pork chop and some sweet heat uh, sausage. Had a salad and some lentil soup and then I ate that smoked pork chop. Just finished washing the dishes, putting my tools away and my mess away. Sitting here with Bobby, Bobby Sullivan now, and Brother Prince and co-star Max. And they've all been very loving to me today. And so, Sully hasn't been much of a ball breaker, so not too much, not, not as much as usual. He gave the reins back to me for that today. Oh yeah. Late in the day I had a couple shots of espresso and I think I might do a couple more of them before I go to sleep. Doesn't seem to do much as far as keeping me awake. <laughs> so anyway, should we take a break, Max? Yeah, let's take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that one little bit. <clears throat> I don't remember if I mentioned this yesterday, but nobody watches anyway. So to the 8 billion of you who weren't tuned in yesterday, maybe I did mention this and maybe I didn't, but I'm mentioning it again today. I learned that my cousin was not having uh, Thanksgiving dinner, dinner at his place in Alanson, so decided to do it here, and I went and did some hunter-gathering at Save-A-Lot. I bagged a turkey and some cranberries and some potatoes and sweet potato and I had the rest of the fixings here and that reminds me I got cranberries cooking for cranberry sauce on the stove right now I better go check those but we're gonna have Thanksgiving here tomorrow aren't we Max aren't we Sully yeah we are oh yeah we are well we are back and I kept smelling something and I thought boy that smells good but it smells like it's burning too and I forgot them cranberries were cooking and they didn't burn but I wasn't stirring them, and the sugar fell to the bottom of the pan. It's pretty simple. It's sugar, water, and cranberries, and kind of separated while I wasn't stirring it, and the sugar burnt to the bottom of the pan, but I got it all scraped off, and I ate it, because <laughs> that's the kind of guy I am. We'll have fresh cranberry sauce for tomorrow. That tasted all right. Sully just came and sat back on my lap. Mackie's over on his favorite binky. And... Yeah, we're going to read from a book called Mean Streak. We're going to watch a movie. Probably do a crossword. And get up and start cooking Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow if we get another day. You never know. Every night you go to bed to, could be your last. And every morning you get up could be your last. And you just don't know. And anyway, you got anything to say, Sully? Didn't get any mail today. Heard from friend Tom from the UP. He uh, he was going to Petoskey to see a dentist. There aren't anywhere he lives, anywhere near where he lives. So he's got to drive all the way to flipping Petoskey from wherever he lives up there. I said, man, I wish I would have known that. I would have met you somewhere for coffee or lunch. But... So it goes. Maybe next time. I do want to get up and go see him. Yeah. So. 
I think that's about all we got from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, angry, and bitter soul. Piss off. Happy, wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for not tuning in. And it is Sushi Wednesday at Meyer. I forgot all about that also.